a very good morning students so in the previous session we have seen about what is matter all things are made up of tiny particles and matter exists in three different state and those are solid liquid and gas we all know that the particles in solid are fixed in position which is attaining the definite shape particles in liquid are not fixed in position due to which they don't have a definite shape and in gas particles are even more free to move why why the particles of solid liquid and gas show different behavior for this we need to understand the characteristics of particles of matter so there are three different characteristics of particles of matter first there is empty space between the particles of matter due to which the spacing between the particles of matter is called the intermolecular space second particles of matter are continuously moving which means they are free to move randomly in all the possible direction in a zigzag path third the particles of matter have attractive force between them first you can see that in solid the intermolecular force of attraction between the particle is very less due to which the particles vibrates at its position and in liquid the intermolecular space is more so they have a tendency to move further far from each other and in gas the intermolecular space is very less and we can say that it is negligible so there is a more movement in particles of matter in gas so i hope you have understood the three different characteristics of matter now we are going to study about the gas gas stays the same volume changes and shape also gas has the tendency of attaining gas has the tendency of attaining the shape of the container see in gas the particles between the gases are very far from each other that due to which it moves randomly in the air the breath you take is also a gas and in the atmosphere you can even see that there are many gases around us such as oxygen nitrogen and helium the clouds are also the formation due to the gas in liquid there are also many dissolved gases which you cannot see by your eyes now we are going to study about the change of state of matter when you freeze the liquid it changes into solid and when it melts down it again changes into liquid and when you evaporate it changes into gas all all the three states of matter are existing in your environment so thank you for today